So in this video, I'm switching my wife's account from an older iPad Air 2 to a newer iPad. So I wanna transfer all of the data and apps to this newer one. This process is gonna be very similar on other iPads as well. First thing you should do is make sure you've done an iCloud backup just in case anything goes wrong. On your older iPad, you'll wanna make sure that you have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on. You'll have a little window pop up on the older iPad. So once you see that, just go ahead and hit continue. On the old iPad, you'll wanna use it to scan the weird looking animation here on the new iPad. It works sort of like a QR code. Then you just have to put in your passcode from your old iPad. Then you can go ahead and set up your touch ID on the new iPad or just set it up later. Then you have the option to download from iCloud or it can just transfer it right from your iPad next to it. So it's sort of up to you. It says 15 minutes from iCloud, five to 10 minutes if you just transfer right from your old iPad. Then just go ahead and hit agree. Then there's a couple things to set up like Siri, Apple Pay. You can hit continue to set those up or you can set up later in settings. It should say transfer complete. You just hit continue on the old iPad and then you just wait for it to finish on the new iPad. It should say restore completed on the new iPad and you'll notice it carried over the same wallpaper as well. Once you hit agree to terms and conditions, that's pretty much it. Now you should see all of your old apps on the new iPad and then it's basically just wait till all the apps load. You'll see the icons change from black to their normal color once they finish loading. And then as far as the old iPad goes, once everything's loaded onto the new iPad and you wanna get rid of your old iPad, just make sure you wipe everything off of that by going into settings and then general. I'll scroll down till you see reset and you'll wanna choose erase all content and settings. The other thing you may have to do is put in your Apple ID on the new iPad, but that's pretty much all you have to do to get all of your data and apps from your old iPad to the new one. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Uh,